there is a lot of confusion in industry about how Mano, NFV and OpenStack are related to each other. If you go through this official diagram of ETSI, as a beginner, you will hardly understand anything. So to make you understand, let me take you back to your college days. Now let's do a comparative study between NFV and OSI models. And I'm sure whoever is watching this video is aware about OSI model from his or her college days. So OSI model was a seven layer conceptual framework for data communication between two machines. In this model, as we all know, the bottom three layers mainly involved hardware and the top four layers mainly involved software and protocols. The organization which formulated this model was ISO, International Organization for Standardization. And the main purpose of this model was to support interoperability between different products and softwares, which means that a router on layer three by vendor one can work perfectly okay with a switch or modem at layer two by another vendor and a switch on layer two can work perfectly okay with any kind of cable connectors on layer one by other vendors and all of them works fine with the upper protocols working on top four layers this is because all of them follows the standards and specifications as defined under the osi model now let's talk about telco node virtualization so any legacy telco node can be an element from a core network or from radio networks like bbu the conversion of this telco node in the form of a vnf has to have some set of rules and regulations to support interoperability between different services products and vendors now apply the same logic of osi model here in nfv so as opposed to seven layers the nfv model is a three layer conceptual framework in which the bottom most layer talks about hardware only rest all layers talks about software basically they all are a piece of software only now NFV is also a conceptual framework formulated by ETSI and the main function is to decouple the network functions from proprietary hardware and running them as software in virtual machines. As you can see, the bottom most hardware layer has a choice of so many vendors and a general purpose hardware in place of proprietary. If you see, then you will find that OpenStack falls under the NFVI layer of this model which can be called as a VIM, Virtual Infrastructure Manager, or as a Cloud Management System, CMS. The rest two layers are VNF Management and NFV Orchestration. Together, all these three layers make the ETSI MANO model. The main function of the model is again to support interoperability between different products and softwares, which means that NFVI of any one vendor should work properly with the VNFM of another vendor and the VNFM should work with NFVO of another vendor. Now, if I talk about terminology of different vendors or solutions of different vendors on these layers, I can give you some examples. For example, the NFVI solution of different vendors are these. Cloud Band Infrastructure or CIBIS by Nokia Cloud Execution Environment or CEE by Ericsson. Similarly, Fusion Sphere by Huawei. If we go move one more layer up, then we will have Cloud Band Application Manager or CBAM by Nokia and Ericsson Cloud Manager by Ericsson, which are nothing but VNF managers for the ETSI MANO model. From learning point of view, all the learning resources and practice platforms are available for the bottom layer only. However, for the rest two layers, there is no open study material available. You can learn when you work on a specific product under these layers in a company. Now, if you look onto this diagram, you will understand how ETSI MANO model is working and what is the function of each layer.